Hey Washa Singers and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be diving into something that might just change the way you think about feeding your streams. For years, we have been feeding our stream using a method designed for fish. Yes, you heard it right, it's designed for fish, but streams are not fishes, and their feeding behavior is completely different. It's time to rethink how we approach their nutrition. If we truly want to create a thriving environment for our stream, we have to understand their natural instincts and work with them, rather than against them. The difference between fish and stream feeding behavior is when you feed fish like tetras, barbs, or rasboras, they actively swim up to the food, eat what they need, and then ignore the rest. They operate on a meal-based feeding pattern. Once they are full, they stop eating until they are hungry again. Their feeding routine is generally structured, predictable, and most importantly, limited by their hunger. Stream, on the other hand, have a completely different approach. They graze. Grazing is not just an action, it's a behavior. So unlike fish that responds to hunger cue or territorial, streams are constantly foraging, picking at surfaces with their tiny claws in a repetitive, almost instinctual motion. They don't stop just because they are full, their natural inclination is to search for food at all times. It's part of their survival mechanism. Imagine watching them closely. Their delicate little claws working tirelessly, picking at the smallest particles, sifting through microscopic layers of biofilm. This is not random. This is instinct. This is how they are meant to eat. So. If anyone ever tells you that you are eating too much, just tell them you are just grazing like your streams. Alright, so jokes aside, let's talk about what and why it matters. Most stream keepers, including myself, when I first started, have followed the put in, take out method. The ideal is simple. You drop food in, you let the stream eat, and then you remove any leftover after a set period. Because stream graze continuously, feeding them in short, concentrated sessions means they miss out on the steady food availability they naturally depend on. This is why stream breeders often struggle with baby survival. We are so focused on adding food that we forgot what stream actually need. A consistent source of food that allows them to graze naturally just as they would in the wild. Instead of working with their instincts, we disrupt them. Instead of making life easier for them, we make it harder. To truly support our stream, we need to shift our focus from traditional feeding to biofilm cultivation. Yes, so what is biofilm? And I have mentioned this in some of my videos. It's a thin layer of microscopic life that forms naturally on surfaces like tank walls, gravels, fallen leaves, and filters. This biofilm is packed with beneficial microorganisms, algae, and organic matter that stream thrive on. It's their natural food source. It's not just about nutrition, it's about security. When stream have access to biofilm, they have the freedom to graze all day long, just like in their natural habitat. No stress, no waiting for food, just instinctive, uninterrupted feeding. Experienced hobbies recognize the critical role of biofilm in stream breeding, with many expressing confidence in Calexpor for their success. Breeders from Europe and even Singapore report significantly improved streamlet survival rate, with David from France and James from the UK reaffirming its effectiveness. However, not all Calexpor are the same. Ours are hand-packed, with precision ensuring the highest quality and consistency. Hobbies keep returning to us not because of the price, but because we understand which ingredient truly benefits the streams. It's not just a product, it's a commitment to their well-being. So think about free-ranging cattle. Farmers rotate them across different fields because if they stay in one place for far too long, they consume all the grass, damaging the land. The same thing happens in our stream tank. Stream graze biofilm constantly, and if we don't provide alternative for biofilm to grow, they strip the environment clean too quickly. 
Unlike a cattle herder who can guide livestock to fresh pastures, we don't have the luxury of moving our stream to a new environment where food sources run low. Instead, we must find ways to sustain their grazing needs within the limited space of an aquarium. This is where the biofilm growth becomes essential. By introducing materials that foster biofilms like mosses, galax ball, Indian almond leaves, we create an ongoing renewable food source for our stream. These surfaces act as mini grazing fields, replenishing naturally over time, just like how grass regrow in pastures. Without this approach, streams are left with an unstable food supply, which can lead to nutritional deficiencies, stress, poor survival rate, especially for baby streams. Think about the wilds. Streams are not waiting for pellets to drop from the sky. They survive by constantly scavenging, picking at biofilm covered surfaces, ensuring they get a steady intake of nutrients. If we truly want to mimic their natural be behavior and habitat, and give them the best possible care, we need to stop thinking about food as a one-time event and start seeing it as an ecosystem-driven approach. One where food is always available, just as nature intended. So once we establish a healthy biofilm presence, stream feed should be used as a supplement, not as a primary food source. With adequate biofilm, daily feedings can be reduced to just one or two pellets per stream using high quality, like ours, breeder select food. By making this shift, we ensure that our stream receive a well-balanced diet while allowing them to engage in their natural grazing behavior. This leads to healthier streams, better survival rates for baby streams, and a more sustainable feeding approach overall. For years, we have been feeding streams using fish-based method, but it's time to rethink our approach. By focusing on biofilm cultivation and treating main feed as a supplement rather than a staple, we can create a more natural, sustainable environment that aligns with how streams actually eat. This hobby is more than just keeping stream alive. It's about understanding them, working with nature rather than against it, and creating an environment where they can truly thrive. When we shift our mindset from feeding to supporting their ecosystem, we unlock the full potential of stream keeping. Look into your tank, watch your stream move, explore and graze. Every small action is a part of something bigger. They are constantly searching, always engaged, always in harmony with their surrounding. This is their world and we have the ability to make it better for them. It's not just about what you put in the tank, it's about the world you create within it. So the next time you look at your stream, think about them as tiny grazing animals, constantly foraging, always on the move, and let them have the kind of food source they were meant to have. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will never miss an update. So until next time, peace out.